I th- I'd thought a lot about church before we started planting. So some years I'd been working in various ministries, pulling together my own sense of what church should be, what I should be. So I came to the church plant with a fairly clearly considered vision for what I, I dreamt would happen and what would be in the future. And so my um, task was to actually, because I was a parachute planter, I didn't have a core group as such that I went with. It was just Kathy and I. And so uh, my aim was to work out how to articulate what was in my head that, that I wanted to see this church would become and express it in such a way I could help others gather on board with that and be partners in that. So, so you were actually bringing people into your vision yeah, that you already yeah, formed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is and that it was unusual? Impo- yeah, well, it was an important task because um, the kind of church I saw us being was, was largely a church that no one wanted to have. <laughs> it was interesting. So, and that was a particular context and so on that I was in. Um, you know, I wanted to be a, a, a word-centric church, a, a passionate and humble before the word, um, reformed evangelical, but uh, deeply concerned to grow by evangelism. So these are kind of core values that I brought and a vision that I could see for the church. And yeah, I don't think lots of people joined us wanting it to be the local suburban um, gathering of friends, really, and, and I wasn't interested in that. And so it was important that I had clearly articulated what I wanted it to be so that I was best positioned to actually help others see why it mattered to be this kind of church. What about um, the growth of vision? Does the vision just get set in concrete or does a church adapt its vision as it goes on? You've been going on a number of years now. Have you had to adapt the vision? I don't think I'd call it adapt. I think there's always the possibility that the vision you have when you start is not adequate. Um, it seems to me the vision really is what it is that God would have a church be. And so that shouldn't adapt. Um, I might grow in my understanding of what God would have a church be. And so I think that's, you know, we've clarified and, and made more sharp what it is we think God is about in church and wants us to be. So it doesn't adapt. It, it, you, you should mature and grow in it for sure. And it might be that you you get greater clarity. Uh, I think what happens for guys, and we need to be clear and careful on this, um, planters need to actually very carefully work out what it is they really care about, hopefully informed, well, importantly informed by the scriptures and so on. What are the non-negotiable things they care about? Make sure it's out on, on a page somewhere so that when you bump up against people who care about different things, you know why you're having conflict and friction. Uh, and so the more you can articulate that carefully, the better placed you are to win people or come to a realisation you're not going to be on the same path and you ought to go in different directions. So, so your vision gets re- uh, refined, not changed. You know, you're sharper, you understand. Unless you were you're wrong. wrong. Unless you were wrong, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, your application of that vision, I guess that must change as you think through year by year. Yeah, well, people, you know, in the formal expression of it, your vision doesn't change, your mission might. So, you know, I'm, I'm a bit ho-hum with vision mission statements. I think that the purpose they're seeking to achieve is what I care about. And I think the purpose of a vision statement is that it, it forces me to articulate what I want to see as the outcome of all my work. So what, am I, what difference do I hope to make and what do I want to see achieved? That is absolutely critical for church planters. Uh, in fact, anyone in ministry. Um, why am I doing all of this work? What do I want to see achieved? And if you aren't clear on that, you won't be clear on what tasks you need to do and what things you need to stop doing and make sure you don't do because you won't know where I'm actually trying to get to. You'll just be thinking I'm just doing church. Well, that's death to us. So church planners have got to be clear on what it is they want to see achieved. And then mission is seeking to express what are the things I need to be doing now to get that achieved. So they're important. Whatever label you give them, those two things need to be expressed in some fashion. 